Listen, I may be the most boring person in life, because of course I'm going as Eddie Manson on Halloween. Like, Hello there, welcome to this dark themed video thing. I don't know, I didn't do a Halloween video before. I suck at it, I really suck at it. I really enjoy doing Halloween makeup and costumes and stuff. And I also like doing it on other people, but there's no one here. <laughs> so I decided to take out some of my like sort of special effects and like costume makeup stuff, which is gonna do face like, I cannot be bothered to do anything with the hair or anything like that. We're just gonna do, like, some fun stuff. I'm gonna play with my scar putty, I'm gonna play with my liquid latex, and hopefully we're gonna make something cool. I really don't know what I'm doing here. So I saw this, like, video tutorial on how to do the Maleficent cheekbones, and they did it with a scar putty, which I do have, okay? Most of my stuff is from Revolution. I have the Revolution scar putty, then I have their liquid latex, uh, then I have my Maron palette, which is just disgusting. But you can tell I've been using this one every year. <laughs> and then I have this, which is the Creator Revolution Paint Book palette, which is actually a palette full of like face paints. So this is like, this is pretty cool, but I don't really have much to like use it with. And then I also have many of my paints from Made by Mitchell. So I'm gonna get the hair out of my face first. So from what I know, Okay, there's a little spatula, and here I assume it's gonna be the putty. Yeah, this is a scar putty. It's brand new, I haven't used it yet. It's an interesting substance. It is pretty sticky though, so that deletes my first concern. How the hell am I gonna put this on my face? Because the video I saw was like, just take it and stick it on your face, it's gonna hold. And I didn't believe it, but now I kind of do. <laughs> Last year I was Gamora and it was awesome. So I really want to do Maleficent cheekbone. I don't even care that I don't have the hair. I just want a Maleficent cheekbone and I'm dedicated to get it. Here's my scar putty. I didn't... <sighs> this is really sticky. Is there like a trick? Should I like wet my fingers or something? Oh yeah. Yeah, I actually should. <laughs> okay. I don't really, it's not that I don't remember anything from the video, it's just, it's been a while. <laughs> That's a bit too much. Like, this is a mess, like I'm trying to show you, but I don't even see anything and it's just, this is impossible to take off. Ooh, she's got it. Ooh, she's got a cheek. Just imagine I contour this. Do I want both sides or just one? I think we're gonna stick with one Maleficent cheekbone and we might do something else on the other side. So this is this is it. Does it look like semi okay or am I dumb? Let's just not touch it anymore, okay? We're just gonna mess it up. I'm gonna let it dry a bit and then the lady took some liquid latex and she did like a layer over it. So it kind of like Looks better under the makeup, I guess? I don't think I ever saw the movie. She, she's got cheekbones for days. Very contoured, very pale. Man, we have so much in common. Sir, could you please not be in my hairline? Thank you, thank you. Can someone tell me how is this supposed to smell? Because literally it smells like spoiled fish. I'm gonna try to do what the lady did at the video. I mean, dude, this is a, this is a ride. I just realized that I stopped recording before I started all this shit. So, just so you know, I put two tissues on my face and glued the edges down with latex because I want to do like this super cool scar look and now I'm angry because you did not see any of that struggle. But this smells like, like spoiled fish. I hate it. My eyes are watering, but we're good. So... I managed to pin down two layers of tissue with this. Like, this brush is going to trash. That's that's very well known already. So I got a bag of these, so I'm gonna try. This is not very pigmented. So Maron it is. 
the Mahron paints are water activated, so I'm gonna take my stippling brush and just run it in that wetted white. And now I should be, oh baby, now we're white. So many unnecessary things that I'm not having when I need them. Um, I'm gonna take Milk Mix from Made by Mitchell and I'm gonna try to make the scar a little bit like, paler. Like, the rest of the face is gonna be fine, but I'm just a little afraid that this is gonna be like too dark. That looks horrible. <laughs> oh no, what is this? Where did this come from? I must say though, that the latex actually did like a nice lay around the scar. Too bad that the scar sucks. <laughs> I don't know, it just doesn't blend into my face. I'm gonna go over that. Oh, what, it, what did I just do? Okay, you know what, fine. I'm gonna finish off the white face because the rest of the face is also gonna be very white. So I'm gonna do that. You know how I always make jokes about being pale? Well... <laughs> okay, you know what? I think this is okay. We're pale. This costume is gonna be the Maleficent Scar. Yeah, powdering my face. So I have Cartier Spun. That's the only powder that stinks more than what I already have on my face. I'm like seriously one step from suffocation. This is suffocation from Spotify. <laughs> oh no, my Stranger Things shirt. To be honest, the light is really helping me because in real life I just look like semi-pale. In my camera I look like a stone statue. It's perfect. You know what's the worst thing about this? That if you touch it, it's gonna like move, it's gonna dent. So I'm 100% sure I'm doing something wrong. I don't know what, but it's okay. We're just playing around because, yeah, obviously I don't do this for a living. Now what? Um, now I think we should contour this. It's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine. We're just having fun. It's just fun. I'm gonna take this small brush. Okay, I'm gonna pick up the, like, the cream black. Oh baby, that's a cheekbone. It does actually look pretty okay. Okay, and then I'm gonna take that white. I'm gonna do like a nice dark brow. You know what, I could, why am I not making this with like a black pencil? Come on, me. Why am I doing the bad side? You know what? I think I'm gonna brush them out. Why am I doing Maleficent Instagram eyebrows? We got black eyebrows. And then what does she have on? We got a red lip and we got like a really smoky something. I keep doing it on the wrong eye. <laughs> because usually when I do any look, I do this side first because it's easier to show to the camera. And now I'm doing the main look on this side and I'm just confused. Listen, I'm gonna take that cream palette again. And I think I'll just do like a bit. Swear to the fucking God.
I'm still trying, okay? I didn't give up yet, even though it may look like it. I feel like she's got a little bit of smoke. It's not mad, but I don't think I care. This is the KVD. It's like a lip cream. It's red. There you go. Here's like um, a Maleficent from Wish. Now for the second part, I'm gonna do the lip first because this is gonna be so distracting. KVD in Witches, my tried and true black lip. Much better, much better. Now for this look, I saw people like take scissors and fuck this up. They wanna start putting scissors near my eye? Yeah, I guess we're gonna do that now. Gosh, you cannot even see this. <laughs> This is nerve-wracking and I'm not even on camera. I'm trying to like open this up. Oh, that's disgusting. I love that. The one tutorial I saw was in French. And let's just say that the automatic subtitles didn't do it much justice. So there we go. Got myself a nice little scar. Is this enough? Okay, I think I think this is enough. I think that's it. So now what I want to do is fill this in with black. <laughs> I have like one black liquid eyeshadow I could probably use. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's gross. I like that. It's kind of hard to get black stuff, huh? How do you draw on this? I don't understand. <laughs> Okay, back to the liquid eyeshadow. I'll try a brush. It's like barely picking up anything. No, that's... Oh, I got the fucking marron palette. I forgot again. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, that looks good. I'm actually happy with something. Damn. I would like to do my whole eyes with black. Okay, I'm gonna start with this black pencil. I'll just do like an insanely smoky, smoky eye. Okay, there's just something about packing black on your eyes that makes me very happy. I think I would like to continue with like that correctliness. So I think I just maybe want to do like little cracks through my brows. Listen, this might completely ruin it or make it completely awesome. Too much. I think that's too much. I am going to revive that black paint. Is that safe? Probably not. Do I care? No. But you know what I want? I want a creepy mouth. What is a costume without a creepy mouth? I'm gonna put mascara on the other eye as well because I always feel like if I don't have anything on my lashes, it just looks really weird. Listen, my too much gene is really showing right now. Like, 
I can do this. I can't stop. Listen, so this is the Maleficent. And this is the whatever the fuck this is side. It's almost like a cracked scarred doll. Um, I, I don't know. <laughs> what was this video even about? <laughs> It was just me having fun before Halloween because it's Halloween? I guess so. So what did we learn today? Today we learned that this palette really did not live up to my expectations. We also learned that liquid latex smells like shit, that scarf putty is not a very easy thing to use and that the Mehron paint palette is the best. It's like the coolest thing for like any Halloween kind of makeup. I use it all the time. I just mix my own colors. Now, I feel like the scar putty is extremely hard to work with. In real life, this literally looks like I just glued like caterpillar to my face. So it's not very good. I don't know. It's not my favorite. I do, however, really like this side. The latex like glued on the tissues really well and I really like how it looks. I feel like if I did like an actual like a bloody scar, like a red one, it would look pretty like realistic, but I didn't want to go that way. I feel like this looks way cooler. This is like a like a bookshelf bandit kind of thing. <laughs> if I were to recommend something to you, do this side, not this side, because this is really hard. I almost feel like I would have a better contour if I just contoured, <laughs> like if I didn't use the putty at all. I feel like I could pull off that cheekbone a bit better. You probably didn't learn much and um, that's fine. We don't have to learn something new every day. Thank you very much for watching. Consider subscribing. And if you want to see more videos, I don't do Halloween makeup. Just more videos where I do makeup. You can check out the playlist. See ya.